Hi guys, welcome to RCA Inter Financial Management Ratios. We are doing every possible MCQ of CA Inter costing and FM from the module and then our own MCQs. And that is why I always request this join our Telegram channel for all the future MCQs that will be coming. We have made our own MCQ. So therefore the question bank that you all have with you is quite good. Remember that MCQs forms a great part of your examination paper now and that can be decisive whether you are going to be doing good or not. Okay. And the major use of these videos is only one before I say the answer you should be commenting else it's of no use. Okay. So let's do it. So the question for today is something like this. Uh, bring in the question please. Calculate operating expenses from the information given below. Okay. What information we all have? Sales is 75 lakhs. Okay. Rate of income tax is 50%. Net profit to sales is 5%. Cost of goods sold is 32,90,000. Interest on debentures is 60,000. And I got to be calculating what as a balancing figure? Operating expenses. Operating expenses will actually mean admin and SND expenses. So, four options. Bring them please. 41 lakhs, 8 lakh 10,000. Okay. 34 lakhs. And lastly, 33,90,000. Okay. So, with this information, let's start to be preparing our income statement. I guess income statement should be starting with sales beta and should be reaching till net profit. Just one small thing. From this information, 75 lakh rupees is sales. Apart from that, your net profit ratio is 5%. Take your calcy, 75 lakhs into 5% will be giving you 3 lakh 75,000, I guess. So, yeah. So, that is going to be your net profit. Net profit by default always means net profit as per PL account. That means a final profit. That means PAT. So, therefore, in this case, your PAT will be 3 lakh 75,000. Our income statement should be made as follows. Also do remember, tax rate is 50%. So, in case you are going to be answering this question right now, Pick up your notebook or write somewhere in rough and answer in the comments below. This is the time for it. Pause the video and do that. Chali, I guess you would have commented by now. Let's go ahead. So therefore, we are going to be starting with sales less COGS. That will be giving you what beta gross profit less operating expenses. That is admin and SND. We want this as a balancing figure. So this will be the last thing that we are going to be getting here. Further, that will be giving you EBIT or PBIT, profit before interest and taxes or earnings before interest and tax. Okay, less your interest over here. That will be giving you EBT or uh, PBT, less your taxes at the rate of 50% that will be giving you all PAT. Now see what information was there with us. Sales we all have is 75 lakhs. Less cost of goods sold that is there with us. So therefore gross profit you can compute as a balancing figure 42,10,000. Now, operating expenses, we want to be computing as a balancing figure. So now let's start off the things from down. So therefore, PAD that we spoke is sales into 5% as net profit ratio is 5%. Okay, so 3,75,000. Now, taxes are 50%. So therefore, if PBT is 100, taxes are 50, PAT will also be 50. So therefore, your PAT and taxes will become same. That is, both of them will be 50-50. So therefore, 3,75,000. Add it, this will give you 7,50,000. Interest was there at 60,000. So therefore, your EBIT will be nothing but 8,10. And let's subtract it off now. 42,10 minus 8,10. That will be 34 lakh rupees. So therefore, that is your final answer. That, that's the only thing that you will want it. So out of the four options, I guess it's option number C. That's the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye.